President Joe Biden marks 100 days in office this week and will deliver his first address to a joint session of Congress. While he is receiving high marks in a recent poll, his administration is still facing challenges with vaccine hesitancy and immigration. CBS's Natalie Brand reports from the White House. Days away from his 100th day on the job, President Biden is gearing up for his first address to a joint session of Congress Wednesday with a smaller in-person audience. From his vantage point, it still is an opportunity to speak directly to the American people about the progress that's been made, the work that's still ahead. A new CBS News poll shows most Americans approve of the way President Biden is handling the country's top priorities, with especially high marks on the coronavirus response and vaccine distribution. The president is also receiving high grades on his $2 trillion infrastructure proposal dubbed the American Jobs Plan, but the survey showed a partisan divide. I give the president A plus on rhetoric but I give him an F on results. Republicans are expected to push back against a soon to be unveiled second spending proposal from the president, which focuses on families, child care and education. One element of this reform uh, will be to change how we tax capital gains. Uh, and as you all know, that's income from selling stocks and other assets. Uh, for taxpayers that make more than $1 million per year. Republicans have also hit President Biden on his handling of immigration, an issue on which he polls under 50 percent. The United States plans to increase relief to the region, strengthen our cooperation to manage migration in an effective, secure and humane manner. Monday, Vice President Harris met virtually with the president of Guatemala to discuss the root causes of the rising number of migrants, many of them unaccompanied minors at the southern border. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the White House. Today, President Biden signed an executive order to create a task force on worker organizing and empowerment. The White House says the task force will be led by the vice president and it will focus on using existing federal authorities to help workers join labor unions and bargain collectively.